Hi, Bainbridge Island. I'm Blair King, City Manager. This is your update for the week ending July the 29th. Residents of Murden Cove have expressed concern with interference from a radio tower located in their community. In 2018, the city voted to assist the residents in connection with their concerns regarding a significant increase in the radio tower's transmitting capacity. The city's efforts to address concerns with blanketing interference from the radio tower continues. Earlier in the year, the city, along with residents, submitted a petition to deny renewal of license in the hope that the station owners and the operators of the tower will address the concerns of the residents. Now we have a sense that the Federal Communications Commission may soon make a decision on the license renewal, and it's hoped that the concerns of the residents will be addressed. Have you heard coyotes howling in the middle of the night? We hear that there are some coyote concerns, and while the police department has not received any calls, residents have contacted the city council to express concern about an increasing number of coyote sightings. We contacted the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife for assistance. Washington Fish and Wildlife has an informative pamphlet on their website. Now, coyotes are very adaptable animals. They can thrive in many environments. They are opportunistic, both as hunters and scavengers, and they occasionally will kill domestic dogs. Coyotes are curious but timid animals and will run away if challenged, but like any other wild animal, it will protect itself and its young. If a coyote ever approaches, pick up small children or pets immediately and act aggressively towards the animal. This means wave your arms, shout, and throw stones. A spray of water can also be an effective deterrent. While the heat wave may be behind us, for now, water system customers are being asked to conserve water. We're asking customers to reduce irrigation by 50%. To ensure that potable water is available in the Rockaway Beach area, the city has activated an emergency intertide to provide water to the 67 homes served by this system. The 19-year-old pump that serves this area has been required to operate excessively to fill the 130,000-gallon storage tank. We want your input. If you received a yellow postcard or follow-up letter in the mail, please complete the Citizen Satisfaction Survey. Approximately 2,800 randomly selected households on the island received an invitation to participate in the first phase of the survey. The web link is on the postcard, or you can complete the paper survey. Please complete the survey as soon as you can. The city values your input and opinions about the city's program and services. If you don't receive a copy of the survey, but you want to participate, don't worry. In the middle of August, there will be an open opportunity for residents to complete the survey. The link will be on the city's website around August the 15th. In the fall, the city will receive a report from the survey company, which will include benchmark data, comparing our results to those received from cities across the country. Thanks for sharing your thoughts. This information will help the city understand how to serve you better. The Washington State Department of Transportation announced that a fish passage improvement project on State Route 305 is scheduled to begin on August the 8th. Here on Bainbridge Island, the fish barrier removal will focus on the Murden Creek under State Route 305, an existing culvert under the highway will be replaced with a new bridge. Crews are scheduled to begin work near Sportsman Club Road Northeast. Travelers will generally see construction during daytime hours each weekday. The Washington State Department of Transportation will keep travelers moving throughout the construction zone. Crews will build a temporary two-lane bypass road, which will create a work zone to rebuild the stream. The culvert will be replaced with a new 120-foot-long bridge. Replacing the culvert with a new bridge removes barriers to fish and increases the likelihood of migration in a more natural creek environment. To help protect habitat, the in-water work can only be done during specific time frames. Drivers can get real-time travel information on the WASDOT app via the link shown on the screen below. So I've mentioned the issues of vehicle prowls and thefts last week. Unfortunately, they continue to be a problem in our neighborhoods. Many of these incidents could be deterred or even prevented by simply locking your car or removing valuables from sight. If you see something, say something. Please contact the Bainbridge Island Police Department with any information or suspect tips. The City Council rejected the single construction bid for the Bainbridge Island Senior Center project this week, as the single bid received for the renovation project was more than double the engineer's estimate. The city's project manager is currently working with the Bainbridge Island Senior Center to trim the project scope. At this time, we think the project will refocus on upgrades to the newer portion of the building, including the entryway, the lobby, and the thrift store. For more information on some of these topics and all the city's news, please check out the City Man's Report online at bainbridgewa.gov.